The Columnist is currently streaming on Shudder, and I watched it last night, and I quite enjoyed it. So this is definitely a recommendation from me. It's a Danish film, and it's really about a woman who is an online presence. She's a columnist, a pretty famous one. And, uh, you know, there's some real bad shit talking from trolls going on on the internet in the comment sections of Twitter and Facebook and whatnot. And uh, she doesn't take this very well. And she ends up hunting down and killing the people who are talking shit about her. And I, I think, like, for anyone who is, you know, in the public eye at all, whether you have a channel or, or you have a, a um, you know, Instagram or a TikTok or whatever the fuck you're doing. If you, if you have a good amount of eyes on you, you know, um, I can relate to this. Obviously, I've had this channel for four years and I've seen a lot of horrible comments towards me. I mean, just insane. Mostly positive, honestly. Um, but the people who aren't, really go for broke man they like try to get really personal you get threats you get all sorts of things it's wild and of course your initial reaction is like like oh my god if this person was here right now i'd beat the shit out of them you know this of course reminds me of the ending of jay and silent bob um so but okay so the girl in this this is a i think i mentioned this is a danish film um the girl in this is from a show called Evil. I saw that in the comments of when I said I was watching this. Uh, a bunch of people were like, I love her in Evil. I have not watched that show, but I guess she's quite uh, popular on that show. And uh, I thought she was great in this. Very believable person who is really trying to balance her new love interest. Uh, her daughter who is like this wannabe journalist as well. And then, of course, her, you know, um, secretive, murderous um, lifestyle that, she, that she's taken on. And it seems to make her write better after she's kind of cleared her head. And she has like this ultimate target. There's this like ultimate troll that she's looking at or looking for throughout the movie. And the film definitely can be... Um, predictable in a way but in other ways I was surprised by some things um, but it, it's kind of like a dark comedy um, but I really liked her and I really liked all the characters and I thought this was really well done and to add there's a really good uh, moment towards the end that shows the hypocrisy and uh, of this, of what she's doing. It's, it has to do with freedom of speech and it, it really kind of hit me uh, in, in, a, in a weird place where I myself felt kind of bad and hypocritical for the way I've acted in the past. And it's a, it's, you know, narration over a scene and, and it, as I said, it, sh it really, really highlights the kind of hypocrisy that's going on there. Um, and I thought that was super well done and, and a great message because at the end, you know, <laughs> you can't, you can't let this shit get to you. You know, if you're going to be in front of the public, like I do, or like anybody does now, of course I'm not. You know, I, I only have 13,000 subscribers. It's not like I'm some million subscriber kind of person or higher. Um, so I don't even understand the level that they're at uh, and the shit that they deal with. But, you know, her boyfriend in this tells her to, like, not read the comments because he's a, he's a famous uh, writer as well. And she just can't help herself. You know, she's, she's just too obsessed at this point. Um, but I would actually say something different it wouldn't be don't read the comments it would be more along the lines of you can't do this if you're going to be sensitive over people's criticisms right and he might be right 
maybe the way it should be is like don't read the comments if you can't handle them if you can't handle the criticisms and you can't handle knowing that a people just love to talk shit and b just because somebody thinks you're awful doesn't mean anything this is like dating right you've had exes that think you're the worst and then you've had fucking you know maybe your current person or or wife husband whatever thinks you're amazing that doesn't make you anything you know that that just makes you special to them and not so special to them it's it's always opinions um so you can't really concern yourself with what one individual thinks of you because that doesn't really apply to who you are opinions don't make you who you are um and i and i think that this film um shows that pretty well and uh she's great this is a really cool one this is on shutter definitely worth your time if this sounds like it's up your alley and it is foreign um so you will have to read subtitles it does not have a dubbing if that's what you're looking for um but absolutely check it out if you get the chance so let me know if you do and talk shit below because i don't care that would actually be kind of ironic right uh i'll come to your house and i'll fucking kill you